Hey guys, Gortech here. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial video on the Galacticraft mod. In the Galacticraft mod, it allows you to practically go past the overworld to the moon, to different planets, and all that stuff in our solar system. But it's not that easy. Basically, what you need is a bunch of different materials in the mod, and you also need to craft a bunch of different machines like these. Uh, first, you need to start off with the NASA workbench. This helps you uh, create different rockets that allow you that allow you to go to different planets. The first uh, tier rocket that you can make on Earth is the tier one rocket, which will allow you to go to the moon. And basically, you have to go and find one of the moon dungeons, kill the main boss there, get the key, and then find the schematics for the next rocket, and so on and so forth. This here is the oxygen collector. It's basically as it says collects oxygen and you can distri distribute it to anything that you need oxygen wise like for me uh, you can't really see right now but uh, I have a face mask on and uh, there are oxygen uh, canisters on my back that's what you need to breathe on different planets but it doesn't last a long time but if you get the red ones it lasts a good amount of time this is the oxygen compressor. Basically, you put one of the oxygen canisters in here, and it gives you oxygen in that canister. This is where you want to start off with all the crafting materials and all that stuff. This is the circuit fabricator. This allows you to get basic wafers and all that stuff. Those are kind of key components for some of the machines. Not all of them, but some of them. And, yeah, that kind of stuff. Uh, let me find an example here. Um... Here, there's compressed copper, compressed tin, compressed aluminum. That's what the compressor makes. Basically, it's just compressed versions of regular materials you find throughout the world, and it allows you to build other machines. Basically, it's super complicated, but not that complicated if you know what you're doing. Right here is the refinery. Basically, you'll find random pools of regular oil. It's usually black liquid that kind of looks like water. And uh, you put it in here, and you refine it, and it will turn oil into fuel, and you'll put the fuel in here and uh, into the fuel loader and it will load fuel into the rockets so they can actually work. And over here is the cargo loader. The cargo loader isn't really needed because you can uh, hop into the rocket, press F, and you can usually put it in rockets that you put chests in. And you can just put it in that way. But that's how I do it. I mean, I don't know if there's any other gains that you get from putting it in here, but so far, no. Here are your power sources. Basically, you start off small with the coal generator, and it, basically, the only thing I can say to describe this is it eats up all of your coal. Basically, if you leave coal in it, it'll just keep running until it runs out. So that's why I think it's not really effective, but it's good for, like, starting off. This is a basic solar panel. The thing with basic solar panels are they only face up. They don't follow the sun like the advanced uh, solar panels do. But uh, these just face up. It's like the first step in solar panel energy, but the advanced solar panel beats it easily. Easily. So basically, uh, that's all the basic stuff that you need on Earth in order to get started. Um, for all the crafting recipes for stuff you'll need, like for the rockets and stuff like that, I'll leave a link below for the Galacticraft Wikipedia, and that'll basically tell you what you need to craft all the different machines and stuff like that. Alright, and there's a couple more things I need to show you guys on the moon for when you guys actually get there.
here is the solar system, uh, you, I guess, galaxy map. I guess you could call it that. This is basically all the different planets like Neptune, Uranus, uh, the asteroids, Saturn, etc. You guys get the point. Basically, uh, this is where you, this is what you screen you go to whenever you go up into space via the rockets. Uh, since I only have the tier one rocket, I can only go to the moon on Earth. So we'll just go there right now. And uh, right now I'm in the lander, and you have to hold spacebar to slow down, or you'll just crash into the moon and blow up. Yeah, that sucks. So hopefully we land near the set. I set up everything else that you guys will need to know. Here we go. And then you just land right here. Perfect. Then you jump out with shift. And uh, there's here's the rest of the parts. Uh, basically, all the stuff that I showed you on Earth, you, you probably want to create them on other planets too, because that's also useful. Right here is a space bed. It will allow you to sleep in space. And since we're on the moon, there's less gravity, so you can jump a lot higher. And uh, the day cycles are a lot slower. I think the day cycle for the moon is double the amount on the overworld. Right here is a bubble distributor. Basically, uh, if you bring leaves, uh, grass blocks, trees, and all that stuff, and you put an oxygen collector next to them, they'll collect oxygen, and you can transfer it over to the oxygen uh, bubble distributor. And basically what that does is... Ah, crap. No. Ah, whatever. Uh, we'll deal with that later. Uh, basically, what that does is it creates a small blue bubble, like this, and uh, it gives you oxygen. So if you go in there, you will not lose oxygen uh, if you have tanks in. And then, here's the last thing. This isn't required, but I have a feeling that you guys should at least know about it. This is the terraformer. It's I guess it's kind of an easier way to uh, get uh, grass and stuff like that on here. Basically, you put seeds in here, uh, saplings in here, bone meal in here, and then water in here, and it will terraform all the area in, within the green bubble. And it will turn it into grass blocks and tree blocks and all that stuff. And uh, regular torches do not work on the moon or any other planets, so that's why you're going to need glowstone torches. So you're going to have to go to the nether to get glowstone so you can make torches. And uh, it's a better resource than torches. And then, uh, to wrap it all up, here's some cheese blocks. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you guys. I will be leaving the crafting uh, recipes in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. My name's Gortech, and I'm out. Peace!